Hello everyone, this is Andy from Churton Park Pianos. Today we're going to be looking at this upright piano which is made by a company called Petrov um, based in Czechoslovakia. And it's a 1950s upright piano. But first of all I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel. I made a video previously uh, with an uh, old German upright piano which was in pretty decent condition and I thought well I'll make a video so that my customers can see what I do. Uh, quite a few views on that video and lots of subscribers so clearly entertaining for you guys so I thought well I might as well make another one and uh, I thought this was a good piano to to do a video on. So let's have a look around this piano and see what issues we've got to contend with today. Alright, so this is quite a nice uh, looking piano. It's got nice legs, it's got nice inlay on the front. It's a rosewood case. We've got a bit of borer in this cheek here. Now it's old borer, I can tell, but I am going to retreat it because I'm just not going to take the risk. Um, there's some borer in the cheek there. There was one or two little bits on the side of the piano here. A few, not too many, there are a few little holes there and they look quite old. So the bottom here on the side, there's a, a small collection. Um, and then on the back, which is not really a problem because I can just fill this and just paint it black and you, you, you won't see it. So there's a little gathering there on the back. Okay, so I've took the panels off the piano, the front panel, the knee panel, or the knee board, and now everything is exposed inside. So there's the panels there, and uh, I've checked them all over, and I can't see any more boring. So let's check the inside here. There's a little serial number there, lots of cobwebs. Um, so the good thing is, is what the hell is that? on earth some sort of bug nothing in the legs as well so it doesn't look too bad the borer there's a couple of uh, keys that are making like a click can you hear that Couple of notes that feel a little bit, a little bit loose. The rest of the keys. Just that one. So some of the dampers are. not dampening. So that, that note is ringing. That one is. That one is. That one's not too bad, but it's still not right. That one's okay. <laughs> so I need to look at the dampers as well. These are all ringing. Probably take this action out and give it a good service. All the hammers they're not s sort of moving from side to side. They're all quite tight. That one's a little bit. It's not too bad. And again, it's quite an easy fix, really. I just need to change the pins. So, yeah, that's okay. So, yeah, all in all, it's not too bad. Soundboard's all good. All the main things are okay. Probably a little bit bit of cosmetic and just some servicing on the action that's needed and it'll be all good
All right, guys, so all the keys are out of the piano now. And as you can see, as per usual, there's loads of rubbish that's accumulated over the years. Another bug. Uh, so that needs a really good clean and really good vacuum and uh, the pins need to be cleaned. Uh, the frame is looking splendid. Look at it. Doesn't it look lovely? It's that kind of pitted design. I really like it. Um, Petrov pianos are really nice. So yeah, so I need to do that. I need, there's the action on the floor, so I'm just going to do some work on the action in a minute. But first of all, I'm just going to retreat the borer, even though I know it's old. All right, so here's the action, and uh, one of the keys, we'll start with this one, start with this problem. So one of the keys was uh, clicking, which is this one, which was a G. Um, so I know what the problem's gonna be. It's gonna be the uh, jack, when, it, when you've released the key, the jack uh, returns back to its position, and there's a piece of felt that the jack rests against, which will be, either degraded or it would have fallen off um, and it's just wood on wood it's making that click so to get the where's it gone here we are so to get the uh, hammer out I need to undo the bridle tape which is here now being uh, being from the 50s these uh, bridle tapes have gone quite crusty so the leather is rock hard and uh, they, they can kind of split and fall off now. Uh, these are all original, um, but they're all in pretty good condition. Uh, none of them are broken. So yeah, um, and it's really dusty in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my air compressor just to blast out all of the dust uh, once I've finished all the repairs. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to get this hammer out. Uh, so uh, you can get you can take the hammer out and just fix it and then put it straight back. But it's just easier just to take off the uh, whip in at the bottom bit first while the action's out. And it's going to show you what the problem is as well. So let's undo the whip in. So you undo that at the back with. Just a flathead screwdriver. Uh, there's the whipping. Then I can get the hammer out a lot easier because now the screw to take the to take the hammer out is a lot more accessible when you take this whipping out. Otherwise, you have to kind of just feed your screwdriver in and just move the whipping to the side which isn't ideal, but if you're a tuner at you're at someone's house and you just need to whip the uh, hammer out real quick, you're probably not going to go to the pro to the trouble of taking the action out and everything. Um, if you're on uh, the clock. All right, so here's the problem. So just to show you what happens inside the piano, that's how the whipping sits. And that's how the uh, jack sits. If you imagine it's in the action here. All right. So when you press the key, the key lifts the whipping up and the hammer hits the string. And then once you've released the key, the hammer drops back down and you can see where the uh, jack it's hitting the hammer butt here when it returns. And it's making the click. You hear that? And it's making the click because 
the felt is worn away. And you can see it's just, if you take this old felt away, might as well whip it off. The top part of the felt is completely gone. See that? A little darker bit there, that is wood, just pure wood. So the hammer, the jack, sorry, is, let's move that out of the way, making this nice. That should be a nice cushioned, it should be like that. But it's clicking because the felt is gone. All right, so I just need to put a new piece of felt on here. Well, I'm not going to put a new piece of felt. I'm just going to um, salvage one of an old hammer of my old actions that I've got over there. All right, let's do that now. Off one of the uh, bottom keys. Um, so this hammer would not have been used as much as the rest of them. So as you can see, the felt here is still uh, really uh, nice and thick nice and intact. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this piece of felt off and transfer it to here. And the hammer will be completely fixed. So let's do it. There you go. A little bit of felt. A little bit of felt here. Little blob. I need a bit more of that That's better. Squeeze that on. There we are. So that is now going to work absolutely perfectly. Um, just checking the rest of it. So all of the leather still. Still okay, still going to be playable for a few years. And the other thing I need to do, I need to just reshape the hammers, if you can see. So you see the grooves in the hammers there. So I'll put this hammer and this whipping back in. And uh, then I'm going to get the air compressor on and uh, give the action a good uh, blow out with some compressed air. Fiddly little job this is. And no more click. The other issue I just remembered um, is the some of the dampers, dampeners were not, um, uh, they were not engaging, they weren't really doing anything. I think what I need to do for that, and I'm just going to just move the dampeners forward just ever so slightly. We've got a little wire brush.
Right. So here's my wire bending tool. And you see when you squeeze it's going to bend the wire. So as you can see that one has now moved forward a little bit so I've just got to do it to the rest of them. Okay, so I've moved these ones forward just a couple of mil. The springs feel quite uh, strong, so this this should uh, should pretty much fix it, I would say. All right, now it's a little bit more difficult for me to get this uh, tool in there, so what I think what I'm really just going to do, I'm just going to move it, move them forward by hand. See, after doing this, I might have to adjust the uh, the actual sustained pedal because it might not uh, come away from the strings enough. But at least these dampeners will engage a bit better. Alright, let's put put the action back in the uh, piano. I don't need to put the keys back in. Let's put the action in. Okay, that's great. So that's worked. So now the dampers are engaging on all the strings. The click is gone. So all I need to do is I just need to blast out all of the dust. Hi guys, so I've brought the action outside now to uh, give it a good blast with the air hose. So I'm going to um, just file down these hammers a wee bit because uh, some of the grooves, is, this is the very bottom note so it's hardly been used so that's alright but then if you're the further up you go the deeper the grooves get. So a couple of ways of doing this. I have a nail file, quite a coarse one, and there are a couple of bugs for like a pack of four or something. I've got loads of these. So let's start from the bottom. And let's see what difference uh, this makes. So it's kind of like that kind of action that I'm going to do. I'm not going to video or, well, I'll probably just do a time lapse of uh, this because it's real boring job but I'll just do a few just to get started so trying to keep the uh, file is because it's nice and uh, flat so trying to keep it flat against the hammer as much as I can and 
keep going until the groove is gone. There. That's nice and round now. So I'll just do one in the middle somewhere. Uh, let's go for this one. This looks pretty bad. You can see it's got some black on there, which are on the strings as well. Just compressed dust. So uh, again, kind of looking at the hammer just to make sure I'm doing everything straight and then going around and around and around. Trying to keep the shape of the hammer. Let's see, it's quite deep. I'm pretty much there though. So I have to do this 88 times. 86 times because I've done two. Hey, that is pretty much gone. The hammer's nice and round. There we are. All right, let's get to work on the rest of them.